Let's welcome the leading filmmaker of the 21st century, Christopher Nolan. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Mr. Christopher Nolan! Hi, Julia. Hey, Mr. Nolan. Mr. Nolan is an acclaimed British-American filmmaker, having received numerous accolades including five Academy Award nominations, five BAFTA Awards, and six Golden Globe Awards. Hey, Mr. Nolan. Have you been keeping busy lately? I hope I'm not taking up too much of your time. Hi, Julia. It's quite all right. Due to the ongoing actor's strike, I'm available for our conversation. Great. I've heard about the strike. How are things progressing? The strike is still ongoing and negotiations continue amidst the labor dispute. This strike seems to have garnered significant participation. Currently, 11,000 scriptwriters and 160,000 actors in the U.S. have joined. What's the main driving force behind this movement? Are they dissatisfied with their pay? Or are they panicking about the impact of AI on their jobs? It's a combination of factors. They are not as glamorous as they appear. Many individuals within these industries face financial challenges, and concerns about the impact of AI on their jobs are also playing a role. I read a statistic that in the 1980s, the CEO in Warner earned 30 times the salary of the lowest level employees, but now the gap has widened to 10,000 times. Is that true? I don't have precise figures on that. Streaming services have transformed how actors earn from their work, leading to concerns about fair compensation. What are your thoughts on this shift? I prefer not to comment on that particular issue. Moving on, do you believe the concerns of actors and writers about AI are valid? Absolutely. The potential use of AI to replicate human performances could lead to significant ethical and financial challenges for the creative community. I heard that 98% of the members in the actors' union support the strike, which is even higher than the writers' union. Writers are rightly concerned about AI learning from their scripts, but I remain convinced that true creativity and emotional understanding are unique human attributes. Your recent film, Oppenheimer, eschewed CGI. What influenced that decision? It was an artistic choice. Would you be open to incorporating AI-generated content in future projects? It's something I would consider exploring. Is there a concern that advanced technologies like AI could dilute the authenticity of art? I don't believe so. Any tool, whether AI-generated or traditional, is only as powerful as the creativity behind it. Human ingenuity remains irreplaceable. I wholeheartedly agree. Let's delve into Oppenheimer, even though you did not pay me for advertising. As our honored guest, feel free to share about your new film. The interview will be distributed with subtitles in both English and Chinese, reaching diverse communities. Thank you, Julia. Oppenheimer is a gripping exploration of human determination, sacrifice, and the weight of choices that shape history. What inspired you to tell this particular story? The story of J. Robert Oppenheimer and the Manhattan Project fascinated me due to its profound ethical and moral dilemmas. The scientists involved faced an unimaginable decision to create a weapon of unprecedented destruction. This internal struggle and its historical significance provided a unique canvas to explore the complexities of human ambition, responsibility, and the consequences of our innovation. It's intriguing how this parallels the current AI landscape, where researchers are struggling with the ramifications of their work. Indeed, the film reflects the notion of struggling with unprecedented power and responsibility. Do you feel that AI development might lead humanity down a similarly perilous path? Much like Dr. Oppenheimer's perspective on nuclear energy, there's potential for both great progress and significant risks.